we are back. You might wonder why we're already, already back here. The reason is, I'm an idiot. I forgot that the teleporter at that place was inaccessible without any means of flying. So I had to take the long way around. That was quite annoying. And what the hell are you? Let's kill it with the bubbleine. Okay, apparently those little clouds fly off when the big one is killed. Ouch. So you should probably kill the small ones first. Eh, I'll just go on this one. Probably might not be the best weapon for this, but who cares? Not me. Are we still in the labyrinth? We can't pass through here. We're going to have to keep moving forward. You hear the sound of running water from the other side. You'll be able to pass through the gates weights around in the way. Hmm. Then maybe we should break them. Cool. This is a strange place. Was it some kind of base? Open blaster, sure. What could go wrong? Blaster number four currently malfunctioning. Okay. You hear the sound of something breaking free. Oh, she was. Probably staring at it because it wasn't fully open. Okay. Blaster after blaster. Is there something behind all this crazy security? Don't you think so too? Probably. The question is what? Hmm. Maybe we have to access the computer again. Okay. Lift lowered. Hmm. Looks like there are parts of scrap metal down here. Open blaster, alright. Last door opened. Actually, is there no safe point around here? That kinda sucks. There, is, there really isn't, huh? Look! A soldier from the surface? He's been nearly destroyed. There are others like this one all over the place. Who did this? It couldn't have been a Mimigar. How would this happen? It's still functional. We brooding. D9 terminated. Unable to eliminate the target. Destruction of target is impossible with currently equipped firepower. Retreat. Retreat. This does not sound good. Curly? Curly? God damn it. Ooh. 
What is this? Okay, she's back. Um, I'm running out of air. Can you please? Thank you. Ouch. Okay, Curly's doing damage. That's nice. She'd be significantly weaker if you traded her the Polar Star. Holy crap! I'm totally gonna die here, aren't I? What even hit me just there? This boss fight is pretty difficult and I'm drowning, holy crap! That's insane kill! Come on! Alright, small cut and we're back here. Let's take care not to drown this time around. That was pretty uncool last time. So I do have not do it a second time. I have no idea how to kill that thing though. The most convenient would be the machine gun, but we don't have it. Curly has it. That did some damage, at least. Oh no. Okay, good thing we dodged that. At least that still does a lot of damage. Small cards protected. That's not good. It's weakened a lot, but it's still alive. And if I get hit by the big one, I'm gonna be dead. Ah, speaking of the big one. Okay, there we go. Kali, do your job. Damn it, it close. Do not do our quote. Thank you. You did it? Whew. Ah, how? Hey, that's the sandwich you sapped me! Are those children safe? Shut it! Don't act like your mother! Do you even know what this thing is? Huh? This is the reason why I hate you robots! This is the heart of the island! Silent with all of the sobs! Do you really want to die along with the island? You stupid fool! Misery! What are you doing? Move the car to the left and now! While you still have time. Um. Sparkly. There's something wrapped around a broken robot's arm. Will you take it? Yeah, I will. Obtain the top rope. Um, please don't tell me I'll do one anyway. 
losing consciousness. Well, at least I'm not dead. Probably. Did you know that the woman named Jenka had a younger brother? His name was Balos. Like his older sister, he had magical powers unlike anyone could imagine. You can breathe. Surely? No reply. She's not moving, but appears to still be alive. Will you use the tower up? Yes. Wrap the tower up around Curly. She gave us her lifeline. The least we can do is take her along with us. This entire place is flooded. Yes, I want to save. What a way. Hmm. I'd like some healing, please. All the enemies don't seem to be too difficult here, but it's still pretty inconvenient. Spikes. That was a hard, I think. Well, good that there are some hearts at least. But they are kinda hidden though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I don't think I screwed up yet. There's a really important part coming up. That door, namely. No, 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 god damn it. We have to load. Because that door is really important, we can't afford to miss it. Even if I have to load a bit. I was so close to getting it too. Hmm, to get to the wheel ending with the proper weapons is really difficult. With the, sh with the machine gun it was pretty much a breeze here. Unfortunately, that thing is almost useless later on. Okay, um, I almost hit that spike. Good thing I did. Current is pretty strong right here. Um, bubbly. This one can take out the most, I think.
Okay, there we go. Waterway cabin. Safe. Do you want to rest? Sure. Okay, full health and curly license bad. Text is displayed on screen. That reminds me, I also recorded some findings on that notebook. Notebook as in that bookshelf here. The notebook is covered in dust. Open the notebook? Yes. Robots manufactured on the surface have limited aquatic immobility. In the case of flooding, the system will automatically initiate a shutdown to prevent from short circuiting. Below us instructions on how to service flooded robots. Learned how to service flooded robots. Flooded systems will begin a reboot process automatically after using the above map method of draining. Drain the water from curly? Yes, definitely. We have to save her, no matter what. You're safe! Oh, I'm glad. I thought you were a goner. You lost consciousness, consciousness and I couldn't think of anything to do about it. So I gave you my air tank. It worked, didn't it? Huh. She fell asleep. The restart process will take some time to complete. Would you like to leave her here? No. We'll take her. We can't leave her alone like this. Who knows what will happen? Okay, now please don't get into any spikes. That was sad. Really sad. Whoa, that was close too. Ouch. I would appreciate not dying. Ouch. I was facing the wrong way, so I didn't really have a lot of view. Ouch. I still don't have. Oh, come on. Okay, that was simply idiotic. I can't react to these on time. Something's coming, and I'm all I only have one HP. This is not good. Okay, I have 7 HP, that's better than 2 F1. But it's still not a lot. Also, we really should avoid those stones. I think we already took damage, unfortunately. Yep, now we definitely did. I fought this boss several times trying to get no damage at all. It took quite some time. There's a reward for doing this boss without losing any health. It's not really worthwhile, but it's something. However, I don't really plan on getting it. Just if I had to. I mean, if I just happened to get it. Which I did, unfortunately. Curly. Curly. God damn it. The music is different now. 
and nobody's here. This isn't good. Where are we supposed to go now? Oh, there's something. Professor Booster. Oh, it's just you. Such a place to mess with flowers. All the mimic of Silent have now fallen under his grip. Tragedy is inevitable. Had I known these events would transpire then, I should have at least had to escape from the island. Obtain the booster. Version 2.0. Please honor my final request. If you see Sue one last time, please take her and escape from the island. She is Dr. Sakamoto's daughter. For the longest time she resisted coming to this island. But she couldn't be left behind all alone. She had no choice but to follow us to the island. Please, take her and escape. We got something really nice now. Press the jump button while airborne and boost in one of four directions. Do you want to equip it? Yes. If we talked to Professor Booster earlier on when he fell down, we would have gotten an inferior version of the booster, which could only go up, I think. Now it's time to get the weapon that we want. And for that, we'll go back. All the way back. Remember, we fell out of the sky when we first wept at Mimica Village. The reason was the first kick. And now we can go back. Also, remember where we got that polar star? There was a helmet gunsmith here. At that time he was sleeping. Let's go visit him one more time. This time he's awake. Did you happen to see the gun I made? Someone pilfered it while I slept. I should have just slept with the thing in my chest pocket, had I known that was going to be the case. Wait, that's my gun. Why do you have it? I didn't make it for you. Give it back. Polester was confiscated. Hmm. You've apparently put a significant am amount of wear on it. I... I was raised to believe that weapons should always be constructed by oneself. And I always thought those who fight with a fire and created by another person are all fools. Growing and overconfident with powers that were never their own to begin with. Then blaming their own shortcomings on the equipment they use. Fools. Still. But now, seeing my gun used by you, with your hands, I'm so very incredibly touched. To use an incom incomplete gun such as the polar star to this degree. Hmm. Pardon my rantings. How about this? I'll give it to you. After it's completed, of course. The polar star is now the spur. Now we can charge it. To put off a pretty significant amount of damage. And even if we don't charge it, it's as powerful as the Polar Star when it was full level, so that's pretty nice. This doesn't have the usual power-up thing, because we can just charge it like this. Also, what the heck is with all these things? There weren't this many before. Probably to test out the new acquired spur, I guess.
Ah, oh, right, we still have the booster. I already forgot about that thing. We don't have to worry about downgrades either. This is pretty awesome. Last charge up takes a while, so. Anyway, let's end this episode here. And next time we'll try to find Curly, wherever she happened to go. So, until then.